Wendy is this big, blue, spiky piece of architecture that landed in the courtyard at PS1. She's this experiment in architecture that tries to blur the boundaries of where buildings typically start and stop and that architects are trained to respect. Instead, she redefines where a building should begin and end. She's this charismatic character that reaches out to the people around her. The physical attributes of Wendy, it's a 46 feet tall and uh, 56 uh, wide kind of object, but it's actually much more because uh, it's actually a installation uh, which prototypes a new relationship towards our environment. Because in architecture, normally what we try to do these days is uh, we work to reduce the impact to our environment. And what Wendy actually does, it turns that game around. It has a positive impact because it takes out pollutants from the air within the context of the courtyard. While we were doing our research, we discovered these titania nanoparticles that basically eat pollution. When we found titania nanoparticles, it became clear that the more fabric we could put into the courtyard, the cleaner the air. So that was our equation. More fabric equals more clean air. So we had to pack as much as we could into the courtyard. It's actually something very magical because uh, when it's being hit by the sun, it neutralizes nitrogen. It breaks down O2 and that's connecting it with another chemical component. And uh, then it just drops to the earth and it's neutral and it cleans the air in an equivalent to taking 260 cars off the road. There are a lot of features uh, in Wendy. There are pools, there are misters, there are wind components. And all of that is for people to hang out and have a great time. We want people just to have fun. The coolest part, I think, is that people are calling it Wendy and saying things like, let's meet for a drink under Wendy. I can't wait to meet Wendy. I've never heard people talk about a building this way, like, you know, as a, as a friend. So I, I, that's really encouraging. The potential for architecture to actually touch the air, touch the stuff that's going into your body, that's part of Wendy. That's part of pushing that boundary of architecture to say uh, that architecture doesn't just influence the spaces you're in, it influences every piece of your daily experience. Uh, and air was the medium that we found to go as far as we possibly could. Our dream is, of course, that uh, Wendy itself, or at least the properties of Wendy, the titanium nanoparticles, really going to be much more common praxis and uh, go around the world and, uh, yeah, and uh, help our cities um, to become cleaner and better.